Hey everybody, this is a new project we're doing at Waterlust, um, a different type of video than we normally do. Um, if you've watched this channel before, you've probably seen that we do all sorts of adventure you know, films and we do stuff about ocean science and different topics, but now we're going to experiment with something a little bit different. And like any story, there's a backstory to this. So um, way back in the day when Waterlust first started, um, we really enjoyed getting on the road and doing road trips and exploring places and the way we did it was we had a pickup truck and our first ever kind of uh, mobile studio, if you will, what was called a pop-up tent that we put on the roof of the car. And it worked really well because you could basically deploy the tent and leave all the gear in the back of the truck and it was really efficient and easy. So after the pop-up tent, uh, we had the cool opportunity to go up to Alaska and film a sailboat race. You may have seen it, it was called uh, Our Race to Alaska. We'll put a link below. In that trip, we got to team up with a company called Sportsmobile. They basically take vans and convert them into these, the coolest basically adventure mobiles you've ever seen. Um, you could live on this in this thing like a house. It's incredible. You can live off off the grid. Um, they have everything you could possibly need. And so we got to take one of their vans from Fresno, California, up to Alaska while um, following the sailboat race, filming and editing and updating um, as we went along. You know, look out for the drone or look out for our little beacon light. We'll be trying to to get close to you as often as we can. So what's happening? Um. We are tracking down the Bird Brothers, and... We've been driving like crazy. We keep driving and pulling over. Probably two miles downwind of us. Which way? That way. And we're gonna get cameras and batteries ready in case they come by. <laughs> and we may have a sportsmobile sighting. And I don't know if you can see it because it's really dark, but there they are. Pretty awesome. And we have a remote controlled spotlight on the sportsmobile. What was really cool about it is it had solar panels and everything we needed to charge the cameras and the drone batteries and all that kind of stuff. Um, and it, it made the experience really fun. And ever since then, we've wanted to do that kind of filming again. The downside with the sportsmobile is they, they cost like $100,000 or even more. And that is just something we really couldn't afford. And then we started thinking about how we could sort of recreate um, the features that you had on a sportsmobile in a much more affordable you know, solution. And we thought about taking a van and doing the conversion ourselves. Uh, but then you still have to buy a van, which is forty dollars to $60,000 or even more, uh, which is still really expensive. And then we realized we, you know, we have, I have a pickup truck and we have, you know, cars that work. Maybe we could do it with a trailer. And uh, last summer we did a project with Chesapeake Lightcraft. Hey! We got to build these canoes up in Annapolis and while we were building these canoes up there for a few weeks, we saw they had this camper uh, in their building, and it was amazing. It was beautiful wooden camper, and so we asked about it, and they and they told us that this was a it was a camper that was sort of inspired by um, boat building, and so we looked into it a little bit more and 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 kind of figured out what what type of features we could have on it, and realized it would be the ideal solution for an adventure mobile for us. So what we're gonna do is over the next few weeks, we're gonna actually build a teardrop camper using their kit. And we're gonna document the process just like this with um, videos. And I'm, we're gonna challenge ourselves to try to shoot videos and you know, at the very least once a week um, and maybe more frequently than that. So we're gonna try to make it much more interactive than what we normally do and use it as an opportunity to experiment with different filming techniques and just see you know, how it goes. If you have any questions about the stuff that we're doing or about the build or um, our experience doing it, um, you can just put them in the comments. We'll put these on YouTube and on Facebook. And uh, we look forward to sharing the experience with you and hopefully it will be uh, an adventure. So the parts for the teardrop should arrive any day and we're gonna start building. So stay tuned for the first episode of the Teardrop Build, which we'll be doing over the next few weeks. All right, 
See you later.